It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for a Thursday evening. I'm James Spann. Still the chance of scattered storms around here tomorrow. The tropics are getting active. A lot of things to talk about, so let's jump right in. That's a water vapor satellite view this afternoon. A pretty big trough passing well to the north of the state. We have a moist air mass in place. A surface front is over the far northwestern corner of Alabama. And as the upper support passes that thing by, it's going to run out of gas and become stationary. And we really don't expect much drying in this part of the state uh, for the next few days, although the Tennessee Valley will see drier air. Temperatures are mostly in the 80s again today. This is the fifth consecutive day with highs under 90. That's not bad for mid-August. And more than likely, we stay in the 80s tomorrow. That was a radar at uh, 2, I'm sorry, 137. Showers were forming rapidly across this part of the state, and we'll see those increasing. Uh, like yesterday, they'll bring heavy rain, thunder, lightning, gusty winds. They're expected to be generally under severe limits. There's our watch warning map, basically quiet for much of the nation. Flash flood watches down around Houston. Uh, up uh, in the northeast for places like Buffalo, New York, and some red flag warnings back in the northwest United States because of the wildfire danger. There's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. We've got green here. That means storms are certainly possible, but organized severe weather not expected. A marginal risk well to the northeast. Tomorrow, a marginal risk well to the west. And on day three, which is Saturday, the standard slight risk up north over much of Minnesota. But around here, we should be in drier air. We could see a storm Saturday, but again, severe weather not expected. Overall rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week. This is suggesting rain amounts of about one half inch for North Alabama, around one inch down to the south. And this is, again, valid through Tuesday morning. We'll see drier air, by the way, by the middle part of next week. In fact, it might feel pretty good around here by uh, Tuesday and Wednesday morning. And yes, indeed, we have a hurricane, the first of the Atlantic season, Hurricane Danny. It's a minimal hurricane. It's small. Uh, top winds at uh, 75 miles an hour. Of course, that's an estimate based on satellite information. Uh, we'll take a look at the modeling on this. The models, uh, the tropical models in pretty good agreement. They take it over toward Puerto Rico or maybe a bit north of there in about five days. And hopefully that will bring some beneficial rain to that island. They could really use that. And then perhaps across Hispaniola in five days or so, but I don't know if it survives that far. It's going to be encountering a lot of shear down and through there. Uh, here's the uh, GFS Ensemble. Many of the members dissipate the system around Puerto Rico, and again, this is a best case for them. They could see beneficial rain, but the wind would not be that bad. Uh, in fact, hardly any of the members identify this thing west of Hispaniola, and uh, that's good news, of course, for the United States. Uh, here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. They keep it a minimal hurricane uh, through the weekend. It comes toward the uh, Leeward Islands early Monday and then weakens to a tropical storm near San Juan, Puerto Rico, Tuesday morning of next week. And again, beyond that, I'm just not convinced it makes it. Uh, it just could dissipate, uh, degenerate down into an open wave at about that point. But as we all know, it's very early in the game and that could change. We'll watch it. We should mention we got another system up on the uh, board, uh, the system that is well to the east of uh, Florida, uh, and that could develop into a subtropical type system. It's not organized at this point. Uh, this has uh, been identified as 97L, and uh, here's the modeling we have in the uh, BAM set. They all want to recurve it. it. Looks like that'll stay offshore, but again, as always, we'll keep an eye on that. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And uh, the flow is fairly zonal. Down below that, the front is not going to move much. Uh, the front more than likely stays around U.S. 72 or maybe the Tennessee River up in North Alabama. And uh, we stay in moist air, so we'll say a mixture of clouds and sunshine with scattered showers and storms tomorrow. And the high will be in the mid-80s. Both models are at 86. Now, this is Saturday. We've seen some conflicting guidance on Saturday from the models uh, some models bring dry air down to Birmingham. Others don't. This run really doesn't, and this is suggesting we'll still have scattered showers and storms Saturday. More numerous from Birmingham south, hardly any near the Tennessee state line. And the high would be uh, close to 90, and this is Sunday. we got a very deep surface low moving up into Canada with a trailing front, and again, uh, this is suggesting there could be a few scattered showers and storms about. So understand we've been talking about a trend toward drier conditions. Please understand us. We're not talking dry weather, just not as many storms as we have seen in recent days. There clearly should be a few out there this weekend. And then Monday, that surface front begins to push in. Same thing. There might be a storm Monday, but by Tuesday, we get into very dry air. 
That's going to be a nice air mass. The highs drop in the middle 80s. The dew points drop in the 50s. And by Wednesday morning, we should be down there in the low 60s, maybe upper 50s in spots. That will feel like fall. That'll be a beautiful setup there. And this is a week from today, Thursday the 27th. Little upper low just to the south of here, but again, if this is correct, we're still in fairly dry air. So at this point, the middle of next week looking nice, lower humidity, cooler nights, pretty comfortable for late August. Here's the end of the forecast, Sunday, August 30th, getting so close to September and the beginning of meteorological fall. Big trough uh, just off the west coast, little upper low over Texas, heat ridge just north and east of here. And that could be fairly hot if this is right, with, again, the chance of scattered afternoon and evening storms. Temperatures for the next 15 days. Hey, look at the middle of next week. The ensemble here drops us down to 61 early Wednesday morning. Nice. Highs in the 80s. But then as we get toward the end of August, the 1st of September, we could see mid-90s as that ridge begins to rebuild. And, again, we all know it can be very hot here into the month of September. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.